Right, this is Fetch for Crate Metal TV. We're here at Bloodstock Festival 2011. I'm here with Barney from Napalm Death. How are you doing, man? I'm all right, mate, yeah. Just uh, winding away the hours, you know. I caught you guys on the main stage earlier. Wicked as always. How did you feel it went? Yeah, it seemed to go all right. Um, yeah, we just did our thing, really. You know, it's, uh, you know, play fast, chaotic, and hope that people like it, you know. The crowd loved it. You can tell with the interaction. Yeah, yeah, you know, it seems to be quite nice, so. Now in March, uh, in our hometown Coventry, you guys did a show in, in uh, Casper. Casper. It's great. Yeah. It was really we, fun. We, we wanted to come to that, but we were at Hammerfest 3. Yeah. Bad, bad timing and schedule, but how, how did it go down? Yeah, it went really well. Went really, really well, yeah. Um, it's not often in Coventry you get metal well, shows. Well, the, I know from the old days, there used to be the Hand and Heart. Um, oh, used yeah. to do a lot of punk gigs, so we used to go over there all the time. You know, Coventry was a really good scene at one point. Uh, but yeah, Casbah, I mean, we'd never been there before. I thought it was great, you know. And um, yeah, it was it was really fun. I, it was interesting because like, I didn't I didn't really know much about the venue, and then looked there was some posters and, like Public Image are playing there, so we we're like, whoa, you know. It was like, God, there's some bands, come, you know, some quite a lot quite of bands. A big bands now, it? Yeah, and no, who else? It was somebody else that was on there. Bring in Soil and um, Pedal of Mud and Rice. Uh, God size, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I think the specials. I think the specials might have been connected with that place. So, yeah, Coventry. Love the love love the specials. Man. That's good. Yeah. Now in 2009, time for Slave. It's been a while since then. You're working with Russell on the new record. Yeah, it's it's actually almost finished. It's got to be mastered, so it's just a little bit left to do with that. Yeah. And, uh, any idea, like, on, on, on when you forecast to? to see it like released and uh, uh, it's, title. Gonna, it's gonna be uh, early next year I mean it was it was meant to be the end of this year but there was a lot of um, there was a lot of stuff to do and we we kind of tried to do too much in too small a space of time and it caught up with you and it caught up with us a little bit I mean we're, we're really spontaneous and we're really keen on getting it done like you know what I mean but we kind of put a bit too much on our plate you know at that point and it, 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 but that's fine no, You've got a great producer behind there. That's yeah, a, that's Russell, amazing. It's great, yeah, yeah. So. Now another thing I've got to ask. One of my favourite shows is Skins. Uh, no, I'm sure you've been asked this many yeah. times. Yeah. Uh, how did that all come about? You know, the guys they who were involved. They asked us. The guy that does it, the producers the show, is a big Napalm fan, and he just asked us to do it. At first, we were a little bit reluctant because we didn't sort of. We weren't. It's quite sure. a mainstream show. Well, in the it, yeah, that, and also we didn't want it to be. I mean, we can always stand back and take the piss out of ourselves, but, but, like, the way it was kind of written at first, it was like they wanted us to be like a Guns N' Roses type thing, you know. No, we would still be napalm, but, like, really kind of diverish and... Yeah, yeah. Like, ah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. I think it came across good, you know. Some yeah, people no, said it, it, it didn't work, but I, you know, it's 50 50, I think. So. Yeah, and that's fine, you know, everybody's opinion. And at the end of the day, not many bands get to be involved on a, on no, a mainstream show. No, like it that, was so. different. I actually had a part in it at one point, but they cut it out. Cause, probably because I couldn't act, act my way out of a paper bag, you know what I mean? Oh, so it could have paid for some lessons. Well, you know, it was a good fun, you know, and it is what it is. You know. Ah, it was good. It was good to see it mixing with, you know, yeah. with, with TV like that. Yeah, it was. It was, it was interesting. It was interesting their take on, on on what would constitute a a metal fan though. I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah, it was. It yeah. was yeah. The Slayer Thompson. Yeah, it was kind of one part of it, you know, but, but there you go. I suppose they've got a they've got a remit and you know they've got a ah, it's good that you guys took part in that, you know. It's yeah. a new album you're looking at yeah. early two thousand and twelve. Yeah. And uh, any idea on the title or we haven't yet, we haven't decided on it, so we're still working on that. It will be soon, but we're just not quite yeah, yet. Time, you know? yeah. Yeah. And, uh, ideally, when it comes out, you're looking to tour the UK. To well, we'll do various bits and pieces, you know, so yeah. In the festival the season again beyond. next year. Yeah, it depends who wants us, because they don't always want us. See, we're a bit too manic sometimes for some of these festivals. This is a perfect one for you guys, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but you know, the first time we did it, we weren't sure how it would go down, you know, because it was a very heavy metal, you know, festival. And we're not really that kind of band, you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We're like, oh, you know, really. but but it worked fine, you know. So it's good, man. It was, I mean, we caught the show; it was great. Great to see you back, and uh, yeah. we look forward to the album. Yeah, yeah, yeah it should be. Pleasure to meet you, man. All the best. All the Cheers. best, man. Thank awesome. you.